Thank you for having me here today. I want to speak in support of Bill 374 to repeal the Louisiana Science Education Act. I uh, am a retired science teacher. I taught 31 years in the state of Louisiana uh, in Jefferson Parish, Orleans Parish, and West Feliciana Parish. And um, I want to thank Zach for the work he's done to, to uh, get this bill put forward, and uh, Senator Karen Carter-Peterson. Uh, I found that list of 70, 70 he's up to, to 78 uh, Nobel laureates is so impressive. Um, they're in physics, chemistry, physiology, and medicine. These are renowned and acclaimed scientists who support our, re, re, our, our repeal effort. Uh, they say the Louisiana Science Education Act should be repealed because it is not good for science education, and it is bad for science education, bad for Louisiana students. And of course, the other uh, endorsements that were mentioned included the uh, other prominent scientists, the City Council of New Orleans, the Clergy Letter Project, three other educational organizations, and science, six science organizations. All support Senate Bill 374 because they all agree that the Louisiana Science Education Act interferes with proper science education. And it doesn't matter whether it's science education in the state of Louisiana or in other states. It's science education. It is Im an important point to point out that uh, to the Senate committee, that some of these people who are supporting this, for example, we have uh, Nobel laureates in cell biology, physics, and chemistry. They do not approve of the Louisiana Science Education Act. We have scientists from who have advanced technology. Um, we have Nobel laureate who, who advanced your cell phones, that technology there. Um, the large screen TVs, all of this technology we're using now, they all say the Louisiana Science Education Act is bad science. It's bad science. We have uh, Nobel laureates who were in medicine, uh, in pharmacy. They say it is bad science to put this forward because you're allowing concepts that are not scientific uh, to come into the science classroom. You talk about talking about other theories. A scientific theory is not the same as these theories that are being proposed. A scientific theory has a different meaning. The theories they're trying to propose in this discussion are not scientific theories. Scientific theories are based on evidence. These theories are not scientific theories. They do not belong in the science classroom. Um, we also have um, people in physics. M Murray Gell-Mann was a Nobel laureate in physics, and he has been described as the scientist who has done more to shape our understanding of the universe than anyone else. And he says the Louisiana Science Education Act is not good science. And we're going to argue with these Nobel laureates. Um, we have Paul Crutzen, who came up with the discoveries that led to an international environmental treaty to help solve our ozone layer problem. And he says the Louisiana Science Education Act is not good science. It wants to teach things that are not scientific theories. They may be theories. They are not scientific theories. And they don't belong in the science classroom. Um, our very best scientists worldwide are saying this does not belong in the science classroom. Now, when I was a science teacher, I, I heard about uh, National Board Certification, that prestigious organization you know, that, that takes teachers to their best ability. And I decided to go for that. And I went for National Board Certification, and I got it, in addition to my master's plus 30 in science education. Uh, and while I was doing my National Board Certification, uh, one of the standards that I had to work on and teach was the, the nature of science and science as inquiry. Now, I, I taught at the New Orleans Center for Science and Math, and my whole course was based on inquiry and critical thinking. You know, when you, when you say you need a bill to put critical thinking in the science classroom, no, that is what, like Zach said, that is what a science classroom is all about. It's about crit teaching critical thinking. 
And it's about keeping out uh, ideas that are not evidence-based. Those should not be treated as science. Um, now, when I was looking at the National Board standard for teaching science as inquiry, here's what, here's what it said in that standard. And listen to this. It said, accomplished science teachers have a thorough comprehension of science as an approach to building a consistent, testable set of understandings about how the world works. They recognize which kinds of questions fall within the purview of science and which do not. Some things do not fall into the purview of science. That's what all of these Nobel laureates are saying. That's what's wrong with the Louisiana Science Education Act. What these teachers want to bring in as supplemental materials to discuss the controversy are not science. They are not evidence-based. And they don't belong in the science classroom. They belong in a philosophical class, a philosophy class. But they don't belong in the science classroom. Now let me go on and read, continue what these, um, these standards said. It says, uh, sci good science teachers are aware and respectful of other ways of interpreting the world. However, they also recognize and understand that the processes of science have a rigor and a predictive power, all their own, to which other, all uh, students need to uh, understand. Not all answers, not all explanations, meet the scientific rigor. Not all things you want to discuss as, as, as the way the universe was made do not meet the evidence-based criteria dependent on, that science depends on. And they don't belong in the science classroom. And also it says, science teachers know what qualifies as authentic scientific investigation. They have a clear sense of various strategies that scientists might use to frame an inquiry or open questions for further exploration, and of the central importance of basing conclusions on empirical evidence. There you go. Basing your conclusions of what you study on empirical evidence evidence. Teachers should not be allowed through the Louisiana Science Education Act to bring in materials and tell kids that these are alternative ideas and these ideas are not based on evidence. Now there was a cartoon that appeared nationwide in papers across the country and this cartoon and it was funny, a lot of people, I got it in my email, they said look at this, look what they're saying about Louisiana. This cartoon shows a teacher talking to his science students and he says, however, as high school science students in the state of Louisiana, you are entitled to learn an alternative theory supported, supported by no scientific evidence whatsoever. <laughs> What's not funny about that is it's true. That's, it is true that our students can learn about theories using the other sense of the term, it's not a scientific theory, they can use about, learn about other theories that are not supported by scientific evidence in the science classroom. It does not belong in the science classroom. They're trying to slip in religious views in the science classroom and that is not right. That is not right. 